Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. If you're having trouble getting audio output or sound to play on your Windows computer, this video is for you. We're gonna cover some settings that you can cover to help get your microphone or your speakers working if you're not getting sound from your input or your output. Before we get started with this video, we wanted to let you guys know that we're actually running a giveaway for Microsoft software through the end of the month. At the end of the giveaway, one lucky subscriber will receive any Microsoft software of their choice from Indigo Software completely free. Indigo Software is an authorized reseller of Microsoft Software, which means this will be a 100% authentic copy of whichever software you choose. To enter the giveaway, just follow the steps in this video. If you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. First thing we're going to check, this one is pretty obvious, but we figured it's worth going over nonetheless. We want to make sure that our devices, we want to make sure that our devices are powered on. So for me, I have these speakers on my desk on the left and right side. That is my audio output. And this is my input. We can see the glowing green here. This microphone also has a mute switch. So if I was having issues, you know, maybe it could be muted. So we're just going to check the actual device itself. Make sure it's powered on, make sure it's connected to the computer. Okay. Once we've done that, we can simply click to the volume icon here. We can adjust the volume output of our computer by sliding this. If I click the setting next to this, I can select my output device. It's worth checking to make sure you have the correct output device selected. In my case, this is the audio engine wireless speakers, which are the ones I mentioned earlier. If you're having an issue, for example, it could be that your speakers are set to your microphone or vice versa. So again, let's just make sure that all of this is set up correctly. And then we also have a volume mixer, again, worth checking down here. Next up, we're gonna try the audio troubleshooter. Let's hit Windows key and I to pull up the settings. Let's go to privacy and security. Once in the settings, we're gonna to go to system. Underneath system, we're gonna find a setting called troubleshoot. So I'll click on that, and then we can click to other troubleshooters. At the top, we're gonna to see one called audio. Let's click run next to that. Okay, and then inside of this troubleshooter here, we're basically gonna follow along with the prompts, and this is gonna hopefully help us to diagnose our issue if we're still having one. We'll select yes here, and let's continue to follow along with the prompts. Now we can see it's running a diagnostic to our device to find the problem. Okay, so it's ran the diagnostic, and I could continue to follow along with the prompts here to try to get to the bottom of this, but in my case, I actually don't have an issue, so let's go ahead and proceed to the next step. Next up, let's head to our device manager. From here, we're gonna click the arrow next to sound, video, and game controllers. And we're gonna find our device. In my case, this is the Audio Engine A2 Plus that we talked about. And I'm gonna go for update driver and we're gonna search automatically for drivers. Go ahead and repeat that for any of your devices that you're using as an input or output. We can do the same thing underneath here. For example, I could click my microphone and update the driver for this. We can also access our output and input settings directly from the system settings. So if I click system and sound here, I can choose where to play sound. So again, we have our audio engine speakers, and then I can choose the input device, which is my microphone. Last step, we're going to restart the Windows audio service. So I'll hit Windows key and R together. Let's type services.msc and we'll press enter. Scrolling all the way down, we have something here called Windows audio. And if I click restart the service and select yes here, we can actually just restart this and see if that helps to correct our problem. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we've covered, drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, for a chance to win any Microsoft software of your choice with an official Microsoft license, click this video and follow the steps for a chance to win. As always, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If you have any videos of your own that you'd like to see us cover, we encourage you to drop those in the comments below. Most of these requests get made into actual videos videos. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.